Hello everyone, this is Richard Cispidis, and I'm here to teach you guys how to do my brand new stationary glide, the Deimos Spin. I think that's how, that's how you pronounce it, Deimos, Deimos Spin. And um, this move is brand new, 2015, brand new move, and without further ado, let's get to it. So what you're going to need is a smooth, glideable floor. If you could spin like this, and we'll take your foot flat like this. Then you could do the Deimos, Deimos spin, and you um, need a smooth, uh, good, glideable shoes too. Um, this move is 100% uh, doable and 100% practical. It can be done on almost any surface, as long as it's smooth enough. Dance floors, concrete floors, and anything. As long as you can do it, or if you have enough force, you can you can make a move work and bring magic to it. So let's go. So um, what? But the technique I want to teach you guys is the move requires you to spin in a stationary position and rotate around in a stationary position. You're not, the move's not almost supposed to be like this or like this. You're not supposed to be gliding around and and uh, and, uh, and, and, and and weird circles. You're supposed to be in a stationary position and one spot rotating around. And that's what things the move. The move requires you. What makes the move magical is that it's it's a continuous rotating spinning. That's what gives it the move, the illusion, and the magic. Continuous rotation, continuous spinning in one place. Smooth, continuous, un, uninterrupted spinning. And it looks like you're walking. Now, what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to put one foot. You can rotate clockwise or counterclockwise however you want to, this way or that way. If you're going to spin this way, you have to put this way like this. This way, you do it like this. But what we're going to do is you're going to have one foot flat and one foot on a tiptoe, like this. And you're going to rotate. I'm going to do it this way because this is how I got used to it. You're going to rotate like this. And you're going to rotate together like this. So you want to practice doing the move. You're going to rotate like this. And as you rotate the flat foot, this foot right here is going to progress along with it as it rotates. Right now it's 90 degrees, almost 180. So as it rotates, you're gonna progress the tiptoe and flatten it. Progress the tiptoe with it and flatten it. Progress and flatten. That's what you do. And then the other part, and then uh, since it's a continuous rotation that gives it magic, what you what you wanna do is you as a tiptoe becomes flattened, you do not want to give it any time to stay on the floor for no longer than half a second or a millisecond. You want to spin the whatever foot that's flat, you want to rotate it and keep the illusion going. And by doing that, you don't give the flat foot any time to stay static or stay stationary for too long. You want to immediately rotate it. So when you rotate the foot, this one becomes flat now. This one becomes tiptoe. What you're gonna do is you're not getting any time, you're gonna rotate inward. You're gonna rotate inward. Inward and rotate that foot. You don't give it any time to be on the floor. So it will be like this, flat, rotate inward. Don't give it any time. I'm doing 109, um, 90 degrees. Like that. I'm gonna do 100 anyway. Boom. Like that. Like that. And as you see, progress the tiptoe, flatten it, then immediately rotate inward, inside. And then this foot, that tiptoe, is going to progress like the other foot did, like the right foot did. It's going to progress and then flatten. As it rotates, it's going to progress with it and flatten on its tiptoe and flatten. Now that you're in the second part, we're going to talk about containing the whole circle. So this foot that's flattened at once, you're not going to give this foot any time to stay static either. So you're going to rotate it out like this, and this foot's going to go up, and it's going to follow it like that. It's going to go out. I'm going to show you front ways. It's going to go out. It's going to be like this. And when you're just going to rotate out like this, this foot's going to turn. As this one rotates, this one's going to turn, lift. And as it continues to rotate, it's going to progress with it. Progress and flatten. 
heart and sleep it away. You find us like that. I don't mean to drown, but baby, boo, it's true. Let's do it. Like, rotate it out. Twist, follow. Look at him. He's old. Rotate it out. Twist and follow. Like that. And again, you're gonna have, since the foot's like that, you're gonna immediately turn this foot, since it's like this, you're gonna turn it inward and try to rotate as much as you can. And that's how the move is done. And then you repeat the steps over and over again and you keep on rotating and spinning. The fluidity, the smoothness of the rotation without any interruption is what makes the Damas spin uh, work and make the illusion and make it look like a badass move. And remember, you're not supposed to be out going like this or like that. It's supposed to be in a stationary position, stuck position in one spot, rotating around. So we're gonna repeat it again. This one's gonna be like this, flatten it. Then immediately, don't let it stay in the floor too long. You wanna turn it inward. And then as I turn it inward, the tiptoe is gonna progress with it and flatten. Like that. And then as you then this foot that's left, this foot's gonna turn out. This foot's the back foot's gonna go up on its tiptoe. And it's gonna follow and progress the foot that's rotating like that. That's the second part. Like that. Like that. So again, lift. Like that, and continue rotation, continue it. But uh, I may be going off a little bit and, and swirling off and on because I'm teaching you, but when you get it done, you're gonna want to make it tight. Keep your feet together as you subconsciously and you physically make it tight. The feet are tight together. You're gonna be, you're gonna find yourself doing it in a round, in a perfect circle in one, one enclosed, uh, without falling out of the boundary. This is Ricky Cispedes. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys learned a lot. Just repeat what I told you around and around. Make sure you're stuck in a stationary position and you're not moving around anywhere. You're not supposed to be swirling around. It's supposed to be stuck rotating around. Just focus your feet together and keep them close. And subconsciously and physically, you'll, you'll do it. Okay.